Today we're going to show you a new option on eBay that can really increase your repeat business and get you a bunch more sales. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about something eBay recently added for most people. It's the ability to send coupons out. Now, you may not think that's a huge ordeal or something that can help boost your sales, but in all honesty, if you do it right and use it correctly, you can get a bunch of repeat business. Now, the biggest feature that I think is best on this is to include a printed coupon that you can send out in every single package that you send out. The option is there when you actually go to print out the labels and all that kind of stuff too, so you can just print out a coupon specifically or give a general coupon for sale five bucks off or something for every future purchase for a certain length of time you've got all sorts of options to create these and they honestly can help you increase sales doesn't necessarily matter which type of item you're selling if you give a decent discount a good reason for someone to come back they're going to at least come back with the hopes of buying something else now with what we sell we sell a lot of collectibles so the chances of somebody returning are fairly high. Giving them a coupon will boost that up even more. And what we do is we actually insert that coupon into every package. Everything we send out and ship is wrapped in plastic. So we actually insert the coupon into the plastic with the item. It's the first thing they will see when they open it up, a big coupon that says $5 off your next purchase. Now we're gonna go look at it and I'm gonna show you how to set this up from the hub. It is honestly a good way to drum up some more business to get you some good repeat business. There's many different options for it as well. Let's look at it right now. Now we're in my hub here and we're under the marketing tab, the marketing tab in the hub. Now you can see my last sale here. I don't have any active sales going on. Um, I usually don't do my whole store, but the coupon is a new option that you'll see when you come over here to do any of this. So if you go up to create a promotion, you're gonna click on the coupon option here and this page opens up and this is a page you can use to create a coupon. Now you can create a code. It doesn't really matter what it is. You can add some numbers, some letters, or whatever the case may be, just to make it difficult. You can name it whatever you like. This can be a buyer's coupon. So you're gonna send this out with your buyers. Do it as a private coupon if you're going to do it this way. This way it won't be posted on eBay. It will only go to people who've already purchased from you. It will be an extra bonus for them to come back. Now the discount type, it gives you quite a few options and you can actually look at many more of those. Now you can set it up any way you want, whether it's buy one, get one at 20% off, take an extra 5% off, 20%, whatever you want to do, or you can just do a specific amount. Take an extra $5 off is the one that I would use. That way it pretty much pays for postage if they're say buying a piece of paper, a postcard, anything else like that, and it'll still knock a little bit off of their items. My best recommendation would be to do one that's going to be of interest and usually a dollar amount off is usually the biggest push in my opinion. 20% off or something, someone's gotta think about it for a minute. They're not seeing a total dollar amount. If you do a specific amount off, you're doing fairly well. Now you can do it for, let's say $5 off for every $50, $5 off for every hundred dollars however you want to do it do it that it's actually a, a, a decent amount five dollars is probably about the smallest I would ever recommend doing it now you've got other options as I said you can do it for how much they spend or a maximum savings so you want to be careful on this one here too so let's say they buy something for thousand dollars you want to make sure that they can't get more than a hundred dollars off the item but if you're not paying attention to this aspect here you could give away far more than you wish $100 is a pretty good savings for somebody. Again, it depends on how you price. Now, we price 3x above what we expect on many different items. Not all of them, but quite a few. So I've always got some playroom figured into this. Now, there's a maximum redemption as well. So let's say you want to set it so they can only redeem it once a week for four weeks. You can pick out a number there. Now, you can set out a budget as well to make sure that you're not going to be losing money. So you'll set a margin so if it's over a certain amount it will allow you to still do it so there's just some other deciding factors you can figure into now you can pick by the specific inventory you want so you can do your store categories you can choose a specific category uh let's pick one down here let's pick uh 
let's pick Victorian trade cards and then I can go ahead and go by price range and item condition as well so I can pick use I can leave the same price range if I want and then include the category in here so the coupon is only good on the items that I have selected it will give you a description of what it is it'll tell you when it ends again you can schedule it or you can start it now now I usually title these thanks for your business that is the title I do for most of these now other than that if you're gonna schedule it that's the only other thing you need to do it gives you a quick breakdown you've got an extra five dollars off it says thanks for your business and that's what it says so we're just gonna go ahead and launch that right now now it's going to show up here in this list of my promotions as you can see right here now as I said the best thing to do with this is to include it with every single sale that you make every time you mail something off stick one of these coupons in there you figure out the price you want to do with it but it goes into great details as you see it will give you many different options you can see all the options I showed you in there you can do it any way you want for any item any items category eBay category or your store category now as I said I do a lot of offers to watchers right now I don't have any I just sent them out before I started the video I did almost 90 today alone as you can see right here that's about average when we're not running a sale a markdown promotional sale when I run a markdown promotional sale the amount of offers to watchers I can send out doubles or triples in many cases so when I start to do these sales it'll go up to 200 or 300 pretty much very quickly the more items I put on sale the more offers to watchers options I will get now I already have one set up down here so I can do copy and it's going to allow me just to copy it it's going to be the exact same flow and system for the last sale that I did you're going to get to select the items now I can select the different categories or whichever I want you can check and see which ones you have now I have collectibles which is the category I have the most items in uh, I've got one rule here set also for the collectibles section 1450 or more all the way up to a thousand bucks are what will be included in this 28 percent off as it says here 28 percent off discount sale markdown sale now what this also does when you create one of these is it sends out a notice to all of those who are following your store and telling them that you have things on sale not only that it will show them as being on sale through gallery views or wherever somebody's looking a potential buyer through eBay so if it's in a category you have a ton of stuff and it's going to show just the items that are on sale at this point so they can tell instantly it will also promote them through when they purchase or something like that an item already on sale now the sale itself isn't what I am looking for I'm looking for a bunch of people to watch my items so that I can send out some offers to them the majority of our sales and many of these types of actions we do do come from offers to watchers most of the items that I send offers to watchers to aren't the items that I technically have on sale but they're items that people were drawn into because they saw the sale item it's a visual uh, cue for them to come into your store and see what you got now I'm fine with all the items in here I've done this so many times it's just my basic items here and all the categories I usually sell in I can just save it and review it just like that so if you've already done the sale it's just this simple you can just click a few buttons and have it running again very very quickly now if you don't set up any specific time frame or anything for these sales they usually just run for 30 days now it's going to come up over to here it's going to give you the options to change any of the information on here as I said 30 days or a month so from June 14th to July 14th this will give it through it I usually just use whatever it has up here most people aren't looking at this they're only worried about the discount it says all that stuff up here we're just gonna launch this one as well so in just a few moments this one will start now it is scheduled it takes some time for all of these 10,000 items to be broadcast with the sale they will be done across the board a few moments apart for the each one of those now you can also create one from scratch as well so we'll go up and do sales event and markdown again now we're gonna do this one here at 20% off again do it however you want now you can add different discount levels whatever you want to do you can do several different ones for different categories so you can do a group category here of like everything from collectibles and then also do records in the same one depending on how many you have of course 
So now we're going to select the items in here. Now, I usually just create rules using categories. You can include far more doing it this way. Now, what I'm going to also do is do a secondary one on collectibles because I have over 20,000 collectibles items up right now. So I can do 10,000 more and not affect any of the ones that I've already touched. Now, again, I always do a set low end. So I never discount something below a certain point. I always run it up to $999.99. If you have something higher than that, whatever the case may be, you can do it however you want. Now we're gonna add that one in here and it's going to have sorted it all through this. Now we're gonna go through here and save and review and this is the next step that you're going to take. Now you can pick very specific ones. I could have went through there and clicked on just the listings that I want. Now you can narrow it down to very specific items or, or however you wish to do it. Now I'm just gonna leave this here as a sales event name. We don't need to put anything else in there. Um, include skipped or new items when they qualify. That means if you just list something, it could include those. I never do that. Now, one other thing I would say too is keep items in the sale and block revision for price increases. That's how the other listing was set up. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. This will eliminate ones that are already have in another sale or that the price could change. So no one would be able to re-alter this one without canceling this or editing the options to begin with. Uh, we need to put a list up here, a name on here. We're going to do 20% off on uh, select store items. And then just leave it at that. That's all there is to it. Now we're going to launch it. And the same basic principle here, you're going to see it show up in this list. Now you come back in a few hours and this will all be updated with the total amounts of the items in your promotions. It's that simple. Even if it's already started, you can alter some of it. If not, you can always end it and then just copy it over and quickly restart it again. No big deal whatsoever. These are the options that I always, always use. Now, in the last one that I ran, we did around $466 over the 30-day period of the last run of these. That's just from people buying it at the price of the sale. That doesn't include the hundreds and hundreds of dollars a week in offers to watchers I was able to send out and sell because people saw the sale, came into the store, and then watched other items besides the items that were on sale. So these are some great options. The coupon though would be something I would honestly recommend everybody doing and including with all of your items you are sending out. Whether you do it for 350 or a specific amount to cover some type of shipping, that would be great. That gives them free shipping for it, even though you charge. It's an extra bonus. It will mean somebody may come back to your store as opposed to just randomly looking on eBay. People do tend to keep a physical coupon far more than trying to write down a number or go back in and find an email. A physical coupon will set right next to their computer. They will have your name on it, where you can use it in the whole work. So that would be my honest recommendations. I can almost guarantee you, you will get some repeat business if you do this. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Peter has a lean and hungry look. Yes, and I'm afraid he's sinking fast. We must operate immediately. <laughs> Boom. Sugar. Milk. 90 cc's of Kellogg's Rice Krispies. <laughs> I think the patient's responding to the Rice Krispies, Doctor. Congratulations, sir. A brilliant use of snap, crackle, and pop. With enough Rice Krispies, will he be able to play the bass again? Yes. That's kind of weird. He never could before.